I overheard you guys. Zeke, he's gone to see Franz, right? Well, how is it? Give it to me straight, Doc. I'm so sorry. I made everyone so worried. I... Sorry. I'm feeling a little hungry. Could you get me something? <laughs> Anything, really. Thanks. here I I just wanted to see the stars I'm sorry I just I just want to be alone just for a little while when we were little Zeke used to take me out here to gaze at the stars I like it here it's so quiet and peaceful like all the bad things in the world just didn't exist I wish things could be like back then. Forever. I... I didn't want to make Zeke sad. Shirley, are you okay? I... what am I gonna do? Shirley! Shirley!
sorry, Zeke. This was all my fault. It's not your fault. Her condition's worse than we thought. I should have been watchful. We did a full checkup on her. Her conditions are not stable and may take a turn for the worse at any time. Celine's friends are coming to help, but they won't be here at least until tomorrow. We don't have that kind of time. <sighs> I need your help again. There's someone. Someone who may have a way of saving Shirley. There's an abandoned lab near the northern coast of Astra. Just send the word there. Also, please don't mention this to anyone else in the shelter. I'm sorry. I can't tell you the identity of that person. You're the only one in the shelter who can help me.
This place looks like it's been abandoned for quite some time. I wonder if anything still works. This data... Chrono chambers? The coordinates look like they're near the shelter. You should at least wait until someone's home before you visit. I'm very sorry. I'm here to deliver a message, and didn't mean to look through your things. Why are you here, stranger? Zeke's sister was seriously wounded, so he asked me to look for help here. We will take care of that. Please leave if you have nothing else. Hello? Hello? I really hope they can help Shirley.
shouldn't be like this. What happened? Why is everyone saying those things? That's the way things are around there. If one of us changed, the closest to them will have to put them down. The very least, they can go with some dignity. None of us wanted to see this happen to Shirley. But Zeke, he... Paul and I will stay here to keep everyone calm. As for Zeke... I'll go check on them. Zeke, she's suffered enough. She's not dead yet. Can't you see the reality of things? She's already... Don't jump to conclusions so easily, Franz. She will be given a new life. <laughs> a new life? As what, a clone? Droid? Or maybe something like you? Isn't it rather superficial to cast judgment on what life is or is not? It is time. Let us go. Zeke, I pray you know what you're doing. I'm gonna bring her home. Guess you saw all of that, huh? Who was that with Zeke? Just an old acquaintance. Nothing more. She said there's still hope for Shirley. Is that true? <sighs> From what I know, aberration is irreversible. The only thing we can do for the afflicted is to send them on their way. As humans. But Shirley... I don't know how they're planning to save her. But even if they did... Would Shirley still be the same Shirley that we knew? You look like you have something to say. Hmm. Zeke sent you to see that person, right? You knew? I should have known that's what Zeke would do. So what did they tell you? I didn't exactly get to meet them. I only requested their help via a communication device, and they said that they would. I also found something that looks like an experiment log. It mentions something called the Chrono Chamber. The Chrono Chamber? Ah, oh, you sly fox. How could I have missed it? Who's Zeke looking for? The leader of the heirs of Ida. Goes by the codename Sage. Even within their organization, he's shrouded in mystery. If he really was on Astra, everything that's happened so far would be the least of our troubles. <sighs> Let's head back to the shelter. We have to tell them about what's happened. Wait! Mr. Franz, there's something I need your help with. What do you want? It's about my identity. I... might be someone from Hykros. What? So... uh... you lost your memories, right? Well, but the scrapper on the Omnium Tower said I have access to Hykros' weapons. And Shirley said you might be able to help me find out who I am. Other than you and Shirley, who else knows about this? That's all. Shirley... she... I don't think she managed to tell anyone else in time. <sighs> hmm. Alright, I think I get the picture. I'll take you to Hykros, and they should be able to establish your identity if you really are one of them. Don't mention this to anyone in the shelter for now, though. It's a delicate time, so don't go looking for more trouble. Okay. Understood. What? Zeke took Shirley and left with someone. Why didn't you stop him? Stop him? You know him better than I do. Hmm. So who exactly was it? The heirs of Ida. They claim that they can save Shirley. 
For Zeke, the choice was clear as day. Heirs of Ida? The crazies that tried to overthrow Hykros? How did they get involved in this? Because Zeke and Shirley's parents were once members of the Heirs of Ida. What? Why hasn't Zeke mentioned this before? What happened to his parents was a meaningless tragedy. They were merely victims of the conflict between Hykros and the Heirs of Ida. Surely Zeke wants nothing else now but a calm and peaceful life, right? But now, Shirley's become the Heirs of Ida's greatest bargaining chip. They want Zeke, and Zeke would do anything to save his sister. Could the Heirs of Ida be behind the Ravager's attack? I can't say for sure, but I know that they're willing to do anything it takes to achieve their goal. We must get Zeke back. We can't let him be a pawn of those lunatics. Leave it to me. I'll find Zeke. The heirs of Ida are not to be taken lightly. You don't have to do this. They saved my life. I'm only returning the favor. Palu, the shelter just went through a rough time. Right now, it's of utmost importance to rebuild it and restore order. None of which can be accomplished without you. Just leave the matter of Zeke to us. I'm planning to take the kid to Hykros and inform them of everything that happened here. Maybe they can help. Thank you, Mr. Franz. Don't even mention it. I've arranged for some transportation for you. It's parked outside. When you're all set, we'll head for the Omnium Tower. Thank <laughs> you.